Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria and on this channel we do all things DIY whether there are small projects or big projects such as my bathroom makeover which I have a few videos already released on my channel so make sure you check those out. In today's video I'll be showing you how I achieved this really really simple and sleek radiator cover so it's a great way to hide any ugly radiators or if you want to add an accent or some sort of feature to any room um, it's a super super simple way to do so so this is actually part of my guest bedroom makeover which I'm doing over the next coming weeks so I'll be showing you little little review reveals on um, how we achieve that and as well and as well as I'll be doing a massive video um, showcasing the full guest bedroom reveal so make sure you keep an eye out for that um, but this was really really simple and all I used to achieve this radiator cover was Gorilla Glue so obviously we know in the news recently that Gorilla Glue is super strong stuff so I just wanted to test that out and yeah it turned out really really well actually I'm a beginner in woodworking I'm, and I'm a beginner in DIY so if I'm able to do this you're definitely able to do this it's simple to do um, and I can show you in, and, and you can see for yourself in this video so make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up um, and I'll have so much more projects coming along soon so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching and let's get straight into the video so I started off by making some cuts for my frame. So I already had some MDF lying around for my previous project. So I just used my miter saw and I cut um, according to the measurements that I had of the radiator. If you don't have a miter saw or circular saw or any power tools at all, what you can do is you can ensure that you have the right measurements, take it to B&Q um, and actually purchase an MDF board from B&Q and they will make the cuts for you. So that's a, just a quick, um, simple um, way or well, low cost way for you to get your cuts without having to buy a saw should you not need one um, but because I needed a saw I just got one and I was able to make my cuts um, just make sure that you allow one inch on either side just so that the frame sits nicely on your radiator and this is how it looks once it's completed excuse the mess <laughs> I had to um, move to my radiator in my living room just to get like a nice high table to have this frame on i just use some screws and some angled brackets to secure the um, legs to the frame and this is just how it looks on the radiator so as you can see my radiator is not the prettiest radiator which is why i wanted to have something really nice to cover it um so also sorry one more thing that you need to do is actually you need to make some additional cuts which is right at the bottom where the pipes are just so that it sits flush in the pipes you can use a handsaw or jigsaw if you have one um but yeah super simple so once that is done then you can start making the cuts for the actual frame so as i said i have a miter saw so this made it really really quick but if you have a miter box and a hand saw you can also do this um it'll just take a little bit longer just make sure you have the correct measurement it's always better to have it a little bit too long rather than a little bit too short because then it'll just be floating and it will just want to look really nice flush on the floor so this is all the wood that i've chopped now i'm literally just going to line it up and see how it fits on the frame but yeah it's coming along so as you can see i lined all of the woods up just to see how it'll fit and i fell a bit short so i had to head over to b and q and get some more wood so the strip wood that i use is the 18 millimeters by 34 millimeters and it's white wood um these were only one pound 98 per strip so they were super cheap really affordable um like i said anyone can do this project and it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg but yeah what i'm doing with this i've already made i've already put three out what we need to do is make sure the first is really really straight so i have a leveler here <laughs> so the first needs to be like super straight because if the first is not straight then the rest will naturally be bent um and then once the first is straight you kind of work your way around it i don't really have a spacer so i'm using my um calvin klein underwear um hanger because i really like this space and i just basically put it in the middle and I, I can put it all the way down and it gives me the space that i need 
and it's perfect so i'll show you how i do the rest so like i said at the beginning of the video this project is beginner friendly all i did was add some wood glue to the frame to the top and the bottom of the frame attach my wood make sure that it was straight using the leveler and make sure you had enough space using the spacer and all you have to just keep repeating this until you fill the whole frame So, so this is phase one completed. Um, I've just kind of put all the slates, or the slats, or however you say it, down. And then now we just need to fill the top the same way. Um, so I'm just going to go and cut some of the strip wood and fill the top. And, and yeah, and hopefully we should have it completed and we can have it painted. And it should be completed. What do you think so far? So to fill in the top, you just need to take the measurements, cut it at a 45 degree angle, make sure it fits to the existing slates, and then uh, use wood filler to fill in any gaps. Once that's completed, just sand it down and voila, it's completed. What you can do to add extra pizzazz to this is you can paint it, you can stain it, or do anything else just to make it feel more like your home. Thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you also like this video and check out my recent video on my progress on my bathroom renovation and i will see you in the next one